This is part two of Stubborn Sexual Misconceptions, and today with us we have Denise again. Let's hear it, Denise. Hi, <laughs> happy to be back because the list is endless and so we have much to talk about still. And first of all, a very general misconception is, is that people think when they want to practice safe sex that it would be better if they double up on condom use. That means that the man will actually wear two condoms because he's afraid if he uses only one it will tear or that the man and the woman will wear a condom. So the man a male condom and the woman a female condom. Now I get your reasoning and I get the idea behind it but even though your intention is to practice safe sex you're actually engaging in a very harmful practice that could end up you being pregnant or infected with an STI because what happens is is if you're wearing two condoms on top of each other it will cause friction and so the condom will actually tear same for when you mix a male condom with a female condom they rub against each other and it could cause tearage now that's the last thing you want especially when your intentions were so good so remember either you use a male condom or use a female condom, but never use them at the same time and never double up on condoms. That would be my advice. Then another thing that a lot of people aren't aware of is that not all lubricants mix with all condoms. Now, especially with male condoms who are made out of latex, they can actually only hold water-based lubricants. They cannot hold oil-based lubricants because it will actually create tearage. And that's the last thing you want when your intentions, again, are to practice safe sex. So make sure that when you use a male condom that is made out of latex, you you always use a water-based lubricant. If you don't want any headaches and you don't even want to think about it, then just use a female condom because the female condom is made out of nitrile and can hold both water and oil-based lubricants. And then you don't have to worry about anything. Now, in my travels all over the world, unfortunately, we also see very harmful sexual practices that are based on a lot of very bad misconceptions about sex. For instance, some of the things that we've encountered in our travels through Africa is that elder men who are infected with HIV AIDS think that they can be cured if they have sex with a virgin. Now, of course, this is a very sad and very dangerous harmful practice because the men won't be cured from their HIV AIDS and the virgin, the young girl, will actually end up being, you know, infected with HIV AIDS and having a very bad sexual experience for the first time. So these are conceptions that are very harmful to, yeah, people in the countries that actually practice them. Good. Thank you, Denise. It's good to know these kind of things. And um, hopefully you at home have learned something new today. And uh, for more information on the Female Health Company and all the good things they do worldwide, check out interconnection.com.